The specification says that you need to know not only what reliability and validity are, but you need to be confident in discussing and identifying internal predictive and ecological validity. Now, reliability refers to how consistent a study is or a measuring device is. So if we replicated it, would we get the same results in similar circumstances? Validity implies a study measures what it is supposed to measure. Now, if you look at the picture on the screen, when we're referring to external validity, we're referring to the extent to which the findings of the study can be generalised to the wider population. When we look at internal validity, we're looking at how accurate the results of that study are. So, for example, a research study has a high internal validity if the outcome of the study is the result of the variables that were manipulated, so all confounding variables have been controlled. Population validity refers to the extent to which the findings can be generalised to other populations. So it needs to be representative of the target population your sample does in order to be able to generalise. Ecological validity refers to the extent to which your study applied to the real world and which the findings can be generalised to the real world. So for example, Milgram's study lacks ecological validity because it was in a lab setting and the task was unrealistic. Participants were asked to deliver or administer electric shocks to another participant. Face validity is often called surface validity, which refers to the extent to which a measure appears on the surface to measure what it's supposed to measure. So, for example, an IQ test on the surface seems like a good measure for intelligence. Predictive validity refers to the measurement's ability to predict scores on another related measurement. So, for example, you will have sat SATs at primary school. These SATs are used to predict your GCSE results. Now, if your SATs are correct and you get the same GCSE results, then your SATs are said to have high predictive validity and they predicted your outcome at GCSE.